And I was like, eh, 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 okay, thank you. Friday I'm on my way to um drive my car up to go get it maintenance it's honestly it's been overdue and this car will tell you how many days overdue from getting maintenance and apparently it's 103 days so but anyway I'm headed over here to drop this car off I really hope they give me an uber to come back home because last time I did this they got an uber to take me back home while they did this because who knows how long this is going to take and I hope it don't take long because a part of me really wants to go get oysters at, like for happy hour at this place called CNS um, Seafood. I've been going to this place for like the last couple of weeks for like happy hour. Highly recommend. Dang, when is the light going to turn? But we shall see. This car is dead in the middle of the street. <laughs> Sorry. Or ma'am, more than anything. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I was talking to y'all a little later, so. So I'm back home now. Um, they actually, they did send me a little lift. I got some coffee while I was there. It was funny because when I was at the dealership, like you have, I've been going to, I've had my Mercedes since 2018. Um, and I go to the same dealership and you have like your advisor person. I've been going to him for years. So I like I only have to go once a year to get my car service. So like he saw like my mileage and he was like, wait, hold up. He was like, the last time you came in was December of 2020. And he was like, it was 42,000 miles on the car. And he was like, and it's stating that it's 46. And I was like, well, I don't drive. I can believe it. Yeah, I don't drive that car like that. <laughs> but anyway, um, I got makeup. Oh my God, shirt, that really annoyed me today. Oh, I hate, don't you just hate like when your hair, like the, the gel turns white. It's so annoying. So, so annoying. But anyway, let me knock out this work and watch some YouTube. And I'm going to get back with y'all later. Peace. All right, guys. So, got my car back, as you guys can see. And I am really annoyed. <laughs> I did not think it was going to cost the amount that it cost. Like, I was thinking I was going to pay like 200 and something dollars and y'all i paid 614 dollars for this maintenance today and i had like i said i haven't even been driving this car so i've only drove like 4,000 miles on this car i'm a little taken back by that all right y'all so i'm back at the hills got my food and honestly, what time is it? It's 4.37. I'm probably gonna go and get oysters possibly tomorrow and go see fam tomorrow because I have like a headache. Like I can't be in like, I get car sick being in the back seat of a car. Like I can sit in the front. I, I don't get car sick when I'm driving definitely. And I don't get car sick usually when I'm um in the front seat but if i'm in the back seat i usually get like car sickness so and especially if the person is braking a lot it just i don't know triggers something in my body that doesn't like it so i kind of got like a tad bit of a headache i think i'm just going to eat my food for the night probably sip on something later like some wine or whatever and call it a day y'all you know 
I'll probably get some oysters tomorrow. It really just depends on how I feel when I wake up. I feel like if the weather is probably pretty like how it was today, I'm going to be out sight baby but it just depends how i feel um i will check back in with y'all tomorrow all right peace out all right guys so change of plans as you guys can see i'm kind of like dressed up right now um so i'm actually about to head out to this place called uh mojave or mojova i don't know how to say the name of it correct me if i'm wrong but we're going to this little place um me and my friend sierra are gonna meet up at 6 30 and we're just gonna go to the bar and like have like a drink and catch up and then i actually made us reservations at eight um and our other friend robin is gonna join us for dinner so it should be like a fun little night it's actually like i feel like there's a cold front coming in so i feel like i was going to wear like these cute little um sandals like heel sandals i had but that ain't gonna happen tonight so i just threw on some some slides there we go whatever i could throw on some like some heels and everything but i'm just like whatever i'm just gonna put these slides on and we're gonna call it dead but um i'm basically just wearing um this is a uh, like a coat from um <laughs> shein this shirt is from shein jewelry from shein um my louis vuitton bag i just have on blue jeans i got the blue jeans from fashion nova and some slides that I have no idea where I got them from because I've had them for a very long time. But I'm about to head out because I think it takes like 22 minutes to get there. It's 5.56. We're going to meet at 6.30. So I'm going to see y'all there. I'm really to have some drinks and catch up with my girl. So bye. I'm feeling high. some yogurt so it's saturday and i'm about to head out in a couple of minutes to my last appointment i have a last appointment at 2 15 it's 1 43 this is literally the first thing i've ate so i'm just trying to eat that drink some water before i go but today's saturday like i said and going to get last appointment and then I'm also going to Yabo tonight with my sister and a mutual friend of ours, if I haven't already told y'all that. And um, last night was a lot of fun. The restaurant we went to last night was a lot of fun. The food was good. The ambiance was good. I would highly, highly recommend checking it out. It's so pretty in there. Um, drinks are really good, too. Um, highly recommend going um but i'm about to head out y'all i just really wanted to just check in say hello to y'all um start the day off i'll probably check back in with y'all when i get back from my last appointment if i don't i definitely will see you guys before um i head out for tonight for yabo so 
Hey y'all, so I'm back in the car and lashes and brows are done. I feel like a new woman baby with the lashes. Why are these cars driving like this? They're driving like, I don't understand why people drive like this. Anyway, I need to make sure that I need, I keep up with my appointments because this, this appointment literally didn't take, it was like an hour. It was like an hour. I was there for like an hour, which is great. And I got my lashes done, tops and bottoms and my brows done but last time i went i had to do a full set and i got my brows done and it was it was almost three hours and i was just like stephanie you need to get it together get it together hey y'all so it's a little later in the day and i am all ready for tonight it's almost seven my sister is actually almost here she's gonna like put her makeup on here and then we're gonna head over to yabo yabo is like literally right down the road from my house so we should be fine when it comes to the reservation and like i said we're just meeting up with our mutual friend johnny tonight to have a little din din and catch up um and yeah so I'll check back in with you guys a little later when um, I get there. And let's make tonight a beautiful night. Bye, guys. I am back home, hair bunned up. I'm about to go upstairs to take this makeup off. But honestly, highly recommend Yabo. It is a South African um, restaurant. Um, super good. Me and my sister went there back in the summer of last year. Um, and I love the fact that they kind of like change up their like menus and things like that. And also, um, yesterday the place I went to is it's called Mahava. So my sister finally got me right. Got me right. It's called Mahava. But um, that's more of like a Latin American dishes that they serve there. So I highly recommend both of those restaurants. Literally, um, Yabo gives more kind of like sexy chic type of vibes. But both places, honestly, you can go to like on dates. You can go to with friends. And also, you can just go with yourself, you know, go to the bar, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm about to call it a night um take this makeup off hey y'all so it is sunday and i am back in this car i feel like y'all always be with me in the car um nowadays but i am headed to brunch i'm headed off to um cns seafood it's like my new favorite little spot honestly i kind of well i had already been there actually i went there last year i went on a date there and then like these last like couple of weeks when i kind of like took off a little bit I, like i took like two weeks off from youtube and i went back there and i've been going there ever since for like happy hour brunch um the vibe there is so cool and i know a lot of people know about cns seafood um the one in marietta is like really really popular i don't go to that one i go to the one in sandy springs because it's the closest one to my house um at this point y'all i think i have an addiction and that addiction is to oysters i just can't get enough of them like i said like ever since i've been going to this place i'm like addicted to this i'm like addicted to it i and i can't believe that i'm driving all the way up here it's not that far but it's still like on a normal day i wouldn't be doing this but anyway I'm about to head to brunch. I thought I would take y'all. I will check back in with y'all when I get there. And let's make this a beautiful, beautiful, fun day Sunday.
you found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and run, yeah, yeah. Too far away from our hearts, yeah, yeah The ones we keep close, we should never let go So tell me who you love, baby Take a moment to unwind Alright guys, so I am headed home for brunch And boy was it a good one, I am so full A little tip um that lychee bag honestly if you go i recommend getting the lychee bag if you like strong cocktails if you're not like a person who likes a strong cocktail i don't recommend it but if you're like a person who likes a strong tart type of cocktail that's it that is the cocktail for you it's my favorite and i also did get a mimosa but i didn't have to pay for any of the drinks because um while i was sitting there the i don't know who she was i don't know if she was owner i don't know who she was she came to me and she was like hey i've seen you come in here a couple of times and i was like yeah i was like you know this is kind of like my new little favorite spot and she was like you know what she's like how about we take care of the drinks today and i was like eh, 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 okay thank you like that was really nice so of course I'm definitely coming back even more now. Not because I feel like they're gonna pay for me or anything, but I just love the service. Like even before they even did that, I feel like the service, the ambiance, the food, the drinks, everything is literally top notch. I think I'm probably gonna go back there again this week um, for happy hour. So after work and everything, but I love, love, love that place. But I think I'm gonna um, stop at the Starbucks up here and get me get me a, a a matcha tea before i go home because i really need that and i think i'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day i'm gonna stop my starbucks baby okay do you have a straw okay thank you you too hey y'all so i have been just chilling at home um and i've been watching this show called the ultimatum and y'all it is <laughs> so freaking good it's basically about these couples that's it's basically a group of couples who were on the show and basically somebody in the relationship has given an ultimatum for like marriage and basically these couples come there and then they kind of like flip flop with each other and then in the end basically they decide if they want to stay with the person they came in like the original relationship with or they want to like decide to like move on with someone else they met while they were there or they just want to kind of like move on by themselves so i would highly recommend if you want to look for something messy and crazy to watch watch that but <laughs> i just wanted to get back on here though to just close out the vloggy um it is a little later now it's like 6 35 and um yeah i'm just chilling for the rest of the night but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and like always make sure that you like and subscribe please if you haven't done so already if you made it this far Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Make sure you like it. And also drop below and, you know, leave me a comment. Say hello, you know, whatever. But I will see you guys in the next video. Hope everyone is doing well.